So I'm in Tucson for a day, actually for a night, and tomorrow morning for a little bit. So I thought I would check out Saguaro National Park. Uh, it's 30, actually 40 minutes away from my hotel. And there is, actually there's two sides. There's an east side and a west side. East side is a little bit further, 40 minutes away. And the west side is a little bit closer. I believe it's 20 minutes away. So I figured I would go to the one that's further away from me uh, on the east side, as, because I also heard that uh, the sunset is better on that side too. I'm not sure if I'll be able to stay there until sunset because I have Kuma with me. Uh, but that's another reason why I decided to go stop by this park because it, there are a lot of pet friendly places you can take your dog to. So I figured, you know what, this will be great. We can like discover a national park together. So Saguaro National Park has uh, several trails you could do and uh, there was like a couple small trails and then uh, you can also do a driving loop, which I thought would be great. Saguaro National Park. Oh, okay, visitor center 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. But it's closed right now. But Cactus Forest Drive is 7 a.m. to sunset. So, you know, park information. I wonder if they have any like brochures or something. Maybe I can go check it out real quick. Okay, so since it's closed, they have. Um, all this stuff outside. Well, this is probably always outside, but it's a map and a guide, no camping. Um, they also laid out some park information here. Like things to do. 30 minutes, enjoy the cactus garden. See, some of this stuff I can't do because I have Kuma. And that gives you, oh, hiking trails. And heat safety. Okay, so got some information. I got a hiking guide, but I'm not gonna do any hiking. Just got this just in case, I guess. Here, here's the map and guide. Pets, welcome on roadways and picnic areas and on the desert discovery and desert ecology paved nature trails. And I was talking about the Cactus Forest Loop Drive. That is an eight mile scenic drive winds through a saguaro forest and offers a close and leisurely look at a variety of Sonoran desert life. The 0.25 mile paved desert ecology trail off Cactus Forest Drive lets you explore desert life. That's where I want, me and Kuma can go. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the Cactus Forest Loop, just driving around, and then stop at the desert ecology trail. But there's so much more you could do here. You can go on trails, you can go on horseback rides and such, but uh, limited if you have a pet with you. But I'm just glad that, you know, I can take her with me to some places. So Saguaro National Park, I was interested in this place because one, I like visiting a national park, but also wanted to visit a national park with Kuma. And I wondered if, you know, you were able to even do that. So you can take your pet with you, but it's very limited on what you can do. Saguaro so actually had a few options where I could take Kuma on a little trail. You can also do this loop drive. So I thought it would be perfect to stop by. So Saguaro means uh, the Saguaro cactus. Uh, they are the king of all cactuses. And it's, this is the only place where saguaros um, grow. And they are giant cactuses that could uh, go up to 50 feet tall and they live for 150 years. They're also the most iconic cactus. I looked up the plural name of cactus and I thought it was cacti, which it is, but you can also say cactuses. So I think I'm just gonna interchange those two a lot. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna go around this loop and check it out. It's kind of strange how you can just like go on in. Free today, yay. Loop drive, picnic area. Alright, it's on a loop drive. One way road, eight miles. So where do you going? Future generations overlook. Oh, okay, oh, okay. right here. <laughs> Okay, so this gives you an overview of the loop. So we 
library at the visitor center. And um, if I'm here, the future generations overlook. Then there's lots of overlooks you could stop by. And then here, Desert Ecology Nature Trails, where I could take Kuma for just a little trail. Okay, moving on. Oh, that looks dangerous with that bike. That's pretty cool here. With all the saguaro cactuses. Pleasant drive. I can't believe it goes on for like eight miles. All right, so here is the Sonoran Desert Overlook. Let's take a look here. Cactus Forest Overlook. Pretty much looks the same as the other overlooks I stopped on. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So where have all the saguaros gone? So there used to be a lot more saguaros in this park, but over the years, they just kept on dying. And um, I believe it was like 1920s or 1930s, there was a big cold front, so that killed a lot. And then again, uh, in the 1960s, there was like a temperature like dropped below freeze, freezing in Tucson, which never happened. So the temperature change has killed a lot of the saguaros. They didn't survive. Moving on. I feel like we're the only ones at this park. <laughs> like nobody else is here. Great. Hey, we're here at the Desert Ecology Trail. This is where Kuma could go. Make sure you stay on the trail, okay? Hold on. Oh, this is a big one right here. Wow, how tall is that? Okay, I've been saying saguaro this whole, whole time. Saguaro, like the G, hard G. But it's actually saguaro, saguaro. I swear other people are pronouncing it wrong. I try to look that up. Anyway, it's saguaro, saguaro. So a lot of animals live in these cactuses, like owls, purple martens, and reptiles. Oh, I'm sorry, are you tired? Kuma, this, this trail is only a quarter of a mile. You're already tired? And it's such a... Nice day today, too. It's great weather. She's tired. All right, well, let's move on. So I just noticed that there are holes in the cactus. And I guess that's where the animals live inside there. You're done, huh? That was a nice little trail. We had it all to ourselves, really. Nobody else was in there, so it was uh, nice and quiet and peaceful. Um, it was just the right amount for Kuma because, you know, she's not much of a walker or she doesn't like to walk long distances. Well, it was like a mountain of a, or a, 
a hill of uh, saguaro cactuses up there now. There's a scenic overlook. And 500 feet. cyclist up there that we passed by earlier. This looks painful going uphill. We finished the cactus forest loop it was a nice pleasant drive um i i enjoyed it and i think kuma enjoyed it a little bit too at least she got to do something different instead of just stay in the car or the hotel room although i don't think she really minds that but um i had a great time being able to explore national park with kuma i mean you know we're from florida and now we're in arizona exploring cacti how cool is that uh so yeah you can do one trail here, a little trail, a quarter mile with your dog, and that's about it. The rest of it, you know, you have to stay in your car. And then if you want to check out, um, if you want to like do some overlooks, you can get out of the car and, you know, leave your car running close by while your dog's in the car. Um, otherwise, you know, if you want to come here alone, then they have some trail heads as well. If you're a cyclist, you can cycle here, or if you just want to exercise, you can just walk into the park as well. So uh, yeah, and if you only have like a day to spend in, tu in the Tucson area, I think this is nice to check out. I think, um, you know, I learned some different plants and the animals around here and the different cacti. So yeah, this is just the east side. Now there's also a west side that I haven't checked out. Hopefully I'll be able to check it out tomorrow, but we'll see. I'd have to wake up super early uh, to be there for like sunrise time and then I'm leaving straight from there to move on to California. Good morning. It's five, no, is it? Oh, yeah, it's 5.30 in the morning. I was like, wait, it feels so light out though. Like the sunrise is at uh, 5.20 here and uh, it's already getting kind of bright. Um, but yeah, I am headed to Saguaro National Park on the west side this morning and check out that a little bit before I uh, head on to California. Um, probably not going to be able to do much. Probably like yesterday when I went to the east part doing a loop type of thing and then uh, there's one little the discovery line. trail. The right. It is very cold this morning. It's 54 degrees. I wasn't expecting it to be this cold, but it will get warmer later, so I'll keep my shorts on. There's these nice pullouts, and you can go off into a little trail and explore a little bit more. This would be a nice little walk to do. So I guess there's like a little trail you could take here. That mountain up there has a whole bunch of uh, saguaros. They're way up there and there's a whole bunch of them. Some pretty flowers growing on there. I'm not actually in Saguaro National Park yet, but as you make your way up there, uh, there are these nice pullouts or there's these pullouts with some nice views of uh, the mountains in the distance.
also a desert museum. But I will not be going to that. Again, this is a pet friendly visit to Swallow National Park. So there's certain things that I can do. We are at Saguaro National Park now and uh, just wanted to take a picture by the sign. That was quite a task because I was trying to take it with Kuma. Um, I used a tripod and it's windy so you have to like make sure the camera doesn't fall. That was kind of scary but I think I did it. Just make sure your pets don't wander off. Um, not that she wandered off much but she did get a little needle in her little cactus needle so I feel really bad about that. But I did get it out but I just, oof, gosh it was, it was in there. But she's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go check this out just a tad. And see what they have. Desert Discovery. Oh, I think this is where I could take Kuma. This little nature trail here because I think it's paved. Yes, okay. We'll do this. Do this and then we'll head out. Kuma got freaked out a little bit because uh, she stepped on one of those, one of those spiky things that are sharp. Um, I don't know what they're called. They look like little balls and they have spikes on them and sometimes they attach to your clothes. Um, and they're very prickly, so they hurt uh, if you step on them. And Kuma accidentally stepped on one, so after that, she was out of there. She was like, nope, not doing this no more. And totally, totally get it. Yeah, that hurts. So, but I was able to easily get it off of her and I think she's fine now. She's just over it. I would have done more of that trail back there because they have beautiful saguaro cacti there. Uh, definitely more people on this side. So there's a few other things to do here at Saguaro National Park, obviously. Um, but since I have my dog with me, I was just very limited on things I could do. But it was still nice to see uh, these beautiful cacti and to stop by a national park where this is the only place where you can see the saguaro cactus. So that was pretty cool. I'm glad I stopped by and checked it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.